Hi everyone, Carol here. Today I want to share with you a collective thrifty haul. Um, I will also be entering this into uh, SS Crafter 1, who is Tammy, here on YouTube. She's having a um, altered uh, challenge giveaway. Um, so I'll just start. Uh, I found this, it's, it's a plaster frame. It's a beautiful size for $1. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to peel off these uh, dried flowers. Here's another pretty frame that I found for 50 cents. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, cute. Um, I found this candy dish for $1. Do this. Just move it away a bit. But anyways, a dollar five. I paid two dollars for this uh, vase, and I thought it was different, so I thought it might be cool to alter. Then I found this glass jar with the lid for one dollar. It has a cool recess here for a label. Beautiful bowl and for two dollars. It's a crackle glass. I thought that was pretty. Um, and the earrings were fifty cents a pair at the um, Salvation Army. These are sand dollar. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of the loop. Um, I found these for 50 cents as well. They're the clip-ons. The brooch, the pin, was a dollar. So was this pretty lady. It's a cameo. Oops, these pearls. And I wasn't going to, but then I asked her to throw in um, these wonky earrings. Oh my god, and they're clip ons. <laughs> they weigh like a pound each. Um, but I thought I could break these apart and maybe use them in um, um, altered art projects and use these big centers for flowers, flower centers. So that's that. This hideous beast, $4.99, but it was on for half price that day. Everything with um, every wooden piece was on for half price. This is a um, uh, child's uh, puzzle box. Um, of course it was empty, but I thought it would make a lovely um, configuration box. And I found this pretty little um, frame and memo pad holder. Uh, it was two dollars. And then I found for fifty cents this pretty um, and brown book and it's actually a photo album one page has uh, photo corners and then there's a, um, a very thin page in between so um, I thought this would be fun to use as a, as a journal actually I'm sure this will take uh, Mindy's sprays really well just make sure that, you know, have something in between the pages so it doesn't bleed through. And maybe just a it first. Then, <laughs> I get to the counter and they had these originally marked as $1 each. They were reduced down to 4 for a dollar. 
under all these um, zippers. There's a hundred in the box. And, you know, I, I started t taking uh, well, four or five dollars worth, and then I, I thought, why not ask? You know, there's no harm in asking. So I asked if they would give me a, a deal on the whole box. And she said, ah, they're not selling anyway, so five dollars. We have another box in the back, she said. So I bought the whole box for five dollars. And as I was checking out, I asked her if I could also have the second box for five dollars. And I found this um, calligraphy book. And this book for three dollars for this one. Embroidered purses. Then I found this um, this little table, and I believe it's a, like a telephone table with a little drawer and whatnot. And the space underneath. I thought that would be nice altar and just um, use it here in my craft room. This cute little uh, apple cookbook. I thought that would be really, really cute. I mean, they would look great in. Um, Altered uh, piece, altered art. Of course, I would like maybe scan them first, so I actually have the recipes. But yeah, I think this was like fifty cents for my altered um, pieces. Uh, there's a couple of pieces here that I purchased in previous uh, hauls that I have shown in previous hauls. Sorry. This was one of them. This box was entirely, mm, I don't know if you can pick it up, it was entirely white. And what I did is I just added a um, um, organza trim here and a little um, fringe trim here, the string of tiny pearls here. And I used my uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, it's and I just went over lightly on the roses and the stems and I lined it with um, felt. I'm just going to use this to put some little wobbles or whatnot. This little bottle I got for 50 cents um, and what I did is on the, uh, the cap here I put a... my lighting is terrible, I apologize. What? record this earlier when I had natural light but so I put a crocheted rose here and topped it with a clay rose from uh, Miss Garden Grove Annie's store then added a string of pearls on the top here this is a trim that I got from Gisela um, this was a little trim that I got in one of my thrifty hauls as well. This is a little trim that I got in a kit from Rosella. This is a trim from Lily, who is uh, Lineka here on YouTube. Pretty. And I just added a couple of recollection flowers here. Two layers. I don't know if that shows up there. sheer one and then the white silky one and then I added a um, alder craft shaped flower in the center. Oh my god this light is terrible. So yeah that was um, altered item number two. Oh I did forget to show that she had thrown these in because I have them in my basket. And what I plan to do is, is cut the center out and use this around a, a photo. Looks very masculine, so. And these little beads. It's also um, a thrifty find, and it's one of my in one of my previous uh, haul videos. It was just a dark wood slab. <laughs> it's actually quite ugly. But functional none, nonetheless. Um, so what I did is I base coated it um, 
with the uh, Americana light mocha acrylic paint. Then I used some Prima Lyric. One was from the Lyric Collection and the back was from the... No, this is the Lyric Collection, sorry. And this one was the... Yeah, why don't I just check to make sure. Yeah, so this one was from the Lyric Collection. The Fairy Rose. And uh, I covered it in a couple of coats of Mod Podge. I'm going to plan to use this in the kitchen to lay a cookbook on. And I added the words and the pinch of love. I added some trim that I'd gotten in my uh, swap with Jose, Mr. Beauty Bomo. I um, added some um, Mod Podge to that as well. I do have some little strings to go cut here and there, but and then this trim was given to me by Miranda in a small wrap that I received from her. This is another project that I'll be showing soon. These are my three altered items for Tammy's um, challenge. And um, thanks for stopping by. I apologize once again for the uh, the lighting, the terrible, terrible lighting and uh, my raspy voice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.